and the purpose is to rid the planet of certain people. I believe that AIDS in reality is not a natural accident, it's not a natural disease that just sort of evolved. Somebody cooked it up. I think that it's something that either escaped from a, a genetic engineering laboratory or something that was manufactured on purpose in a genetic engineering laboratory to somebody's specifications. I also believe that all the warfare of the future will be conducted with these biological agents because now that gene splicing is a thing that can be done, <clears throat> it is feasible to consider the preparation of certain diseases which will kill only specific races, nationalities, or uh, people with certain interests because you can tailor the disease to attack certain things in certain categories. For example, there are diseases now which affect only certain types of people. Tay-Sachs disease, which affects certain uh, Jewish people. Sickle cell anemia, which affects black people. If you want to narrow it down and carry it to ridiculous extremes, I could see somebody in an American laboratory or maybe even in a Swiss laboratory making a disease that would kill only Iraqis or only Iranians or only Libyans or only Russians. Let's look at the world the way it really is. Government is a joke. Governments don't do anything. That's like a cardboard cutout that hides where the real machinery is. The world is a place that does business. The, the world is run by multinational businesses that mostly sell weapons to each other. And then you have sugar business, oil business, uh, coal business, you know, business. And when the guys who run these things say jump, all governments jump. It's foolish to consider the possibility of nuclear war because from a business standpoint, it's impractical. It stops all business. So the way you have to look at it is the chances are much more likely that the sales will continue of missile delivery systems, but what will be in the warheads will not be things that destroy real estate. It's much more practical to think of missiles going someplace and putting out chemicals or uh, microbes that enable the one party to subjugate the other party by controlling its labor force while leaving the buildings intact.